Hey everyone, it's Byron. I'm here to testify for Jesus Christ. Just going to come to you real quick, quick frago. Man, the situation out here in the world today is going to change very soon. Um, you can already see it happening right now. Many of you, in fact, every one of you that fit the category of veteran, you've sworn to defend, to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help you God. And you did so in a time that it seemed prudent to do so. However, there are some workings going on, some things that don't make sense, some things that are coming that's going to put you into a situation where you're going to be like, they're not interpreting the Constitution like it used to be interpreted. They're changing the Constitution, and that's what I swore to uphold and defend. And given the fact that you have been in that situation before where you swore to uphold and defend, um, and then now there there's things changing, people are changing it. That's going to put you, I'm going to refer to the movie Red, retired and extremely dangerous to their cause. They're going to target veterans because you are someone who has sworn to defend something that they're changing. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Now, the mission here is to secure your internal destiny. Here on this earth, while you live here on this earth, you have a life to live. And it's appointed to all men for once to die. Each of us will face it. However, after that death, there is an eternity that will be spent in heaven or in hell. In heaven to be with God, the Father of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, the Holy Ghost, and all the saints of God who have trusted on Jesus Christ. However, not trusting on Jesus Christ, not looking toward him as your Lord and Savior, is going to put you in hell, eternally separated from God. This mission, this this life that you're on right now is your test to see if you're smart enough to figure out you belong to him and you can trust him. Scripture tells us, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. They also tell us that for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That Lord is Jesus Christ. Guys, I'm telling you now, times are changing. You are going to be facing situations coming up in your future that are beyond what you imagined as you sat here in peacetime place. The Lord has been giving me dreams and visions since 2011. I've had a dream where veterans are going to be rounded up. And they're going to be taken to FEMA camps. They're going to be put into those camps, and it was not a pretty picture. One of the things I saw in there was uh, sending us through a trench, and not caring who died. I saw dead bodies in the thing with us. FEMA camps, man. They're out there. They're out there. They're coming for you. Your little pea shooter, the things that you carry around with you as your personal sidearm, they are not going to stand the test of time against the uh, combat multipliers that are out here against us. It is your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Jehovah, that's going to stand the test of time that will protect you, not only from things potentially in this life, but definitely from the hell in the afterlife. To be absent from the body, that would be to be dead from this body, is to be present with the Lord for someone who has trusted on Jesus Christ as their Savior. I've had other situations where I've seen veterans are being going to be invited to events. <coughs> Excuse me. They're going to be invited to, to events, and they'll never check out. Once I went to a basketball game, I was there with some of my buddies from the military we never had an opportunity to leave right now i see on facebook and different places i see pro veteran things going on it seems like a great time you know they're saying this saying that i honestly believe <clears throat> i honestly believe that you're being buttered up for those times when you will be considered red or code red as i like to call it retired and extremely dangerous guys I'm telling you, the situation is dire. The situation is dire. However, I will say this. There is no one who can pluck you out of Jesus Christ's hand once you have decided to render your life to him. Once you're in, you're in. That's how they say it in the VA. They say, once you're in, you're in. As long as you don't do anything to change your mind on believing on the Son of God and trusting in him to be your Lord and Savior, 
as long as you personally don't do anything to that and you're in you're in i recommend that you read a king james version bible i recommend that you don't spend a lot of time listening to people out here talking about what they believe because there's a lot of people that believe contrary to what the scriptures will bring you to believe i almost would say spend your first year year and a half reading the word reading the word of god anyway guys I do this every so often. I do a reminder to veterans that these things are coming and it's coming. It's not only coming to you. It's coming to a lot. Of, you know, it's coming to the United States. I just plead with you as a, <clears throat> excuse me, as a fellow soldier, fellow Marine, fellow midshipman, or fellow aviator, whatever, you know, fellow veteran. I plead with you to realize it's appointed a man wants to die on this earth. You can pretty much be guaranteed you're going to die, except for those who are here at the returning of Jesus Christ. And those who are alive and remain at the returning of Jesus Christ will be caught up together to meet him in the air. And so they will ever be with the Lord. But if you die here on this earth, that's considered to be the first death. The second death would be the result of you dying and then being sent to hell. Because you didn't trust Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. So, guys, I'm not that smooth of a talker. You might say I'm rude in speech, etc., etc., etc. But I can guarantee you one thing: my heart's in the right place. And I cannot deny what the Lord has shown me. And I cannot deny that He has selected me as somebody to bring you this message. So, you know, it's a shame I'm not better at what I do. It's a shame that this and that and this and that, I give you one thing, you, you're getting the truth. You're getting the truth. Drive on, soldiers.